If pounding 5, 8, even 10,000 IU of vitamin D could build more muscle, would you do it? Today, we're testing that promise against the newest clinical trials from 2024 and 2025, and the results might surprise you. So stick with me. And welcome to my channel, Mr. Hellspan. For nearly 30 years as a nutritionist and personal trainer, I've dedicated my life to helping people build unstoppable strength, limitless energy, and superior metabolic health the natural way. As for who I am, I lead by example. I'm 100% drug-free, hormone-free, alcohol-free. Now, in my late 40s, I'm sharper, <laughs> I'm stronger, I'm healthier than ever, and I'm proving the best is yet to come. Now let's go. Here's the plan. We'll hit three brand new human trials, an athlete meta-analysis, and the busy mouse paper everyone's quoting. Then I'll give you this simple, practical takeaway. Who should supplement? Who won't see extra gains? And how to approach vitamin D safely? I'll link every study in the description below if you want to read the research as well. So first, the headline trial. Middle-aged men with low vitamin D did 12 weeks of resistance training. Half took 8,000 IU of vitamin D3 every day. Half took a placebo. Both groups got stronger. Both groups put on lean mass. But the vitamin D group did not gain more muscle or strength than the placebo group. Training drove the gains. The supplement mainly moved the blood level of vitamin D3. Second trial, postmenopausal women did supervised lifting for 12 weeks. One group added high dose vitamin D, 50,000 IU every two weeks. The other group took a placebo. Again, training worked in both groups, which is great news, but vitamin D did not amplify strength or power compared to training alone. Third trial, Low vitamin D postmenopausal women took either casavodiol daily, which is a doctor prescribed very potent vitamin D, a high dose over the counter D3 daily, or placebo daily for six months. Researchers measured lower extremity function, gait speed, knee strength, sit to stand. Result no functional advantage over either D3 or the placebo. Now let's pause and translate. Across these new human trials, lifting is the signal. Vitamin D is the blood test. High doses of D3 reliably raise 25 hydroxy vitamin D on a lab report, but they did not create extra hypertrophy or strength beyond what the training program already delivered. Now, what about athletes? A recent meta-analysis pulled randomized trials in athletic populations. Bottom line, correcting a deficiency raises the blood level, but there's no clear overall strength boost once you are replete. In some analysis, you'll see a tiny quadriceps signal, but it's not a consistent across-the-board performance enhancer. Translation, if you're low, fix it so the deficiency isn't holding you back. If you're already sufficient, mega dosing for extra gains is not supported. So why is the internet buzzing about vitamin D and muscle right now? A 2024 mouse study reported that very high vitamin D intake shifted extra calories toward muscle and away from fat, potentially through lower myostatin and higher leptin signaling. Now that's interesting biology and it might explain why people are excited. But it's mice. It generates hypothesis. It doesn't prove that high-dose vitamin D builds more muscle in trained humans. Here's the practical take you can use today. Number one, fix a deficiency. If your vitamin D is generally low, bring it into a healthy range. That's good for overall health, recovery, and it removes a potential limiter. Number two, don't chase megadoses for hypertrophy. The newest human trials show no extra muscle or strength beyond what your training already provides. Number three, lift progressively. Hit your daily protein, sleep like it matters, 
and be consistent. Those are your big levers. Now, quick safety note. Vitamin D is powerful. Dosing needs depend on your baseline, your sun exposure, your body weight, and your goals. Get your labs done. Work with a clinician on a dose and a timeline and retest. If you wore very low, a temporary higher dose might be appropriate under medical guidance, but more is not automatically better. Rapid fire, question and answers. Should you take high dose vitamin D for more muscle? Based on new randomized trials, no. High doses don't add hypertrophy or strength beyond training. Now, what about athletes? If they're deficient, correcting it might help remove a drag on performance. Once levels are adequate, there's no consistent strength boost from adding more. What about the mouse paper that flips calories to muscle? It's cool mechanistic work in animals, not a free pass to mega dose humans. Interesting, <laughs> yeah. Proven for lifters, not yet. Here's how I'd sum it up. Train hard with progressive overload. Hit your protein target, sleep and recover. Correct real deficiencies with smart supervised supplementation. But high dose vitamin D is not a muscle cheat code. If this video saved you time or money, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications to see my upcoming educational videos and drop your vitamin D questions in the comments. This was just the beginning. Level up your health knowledge by watching these videos next. Now keep pushing, stay strong, get your vitamin D levels on point, and I'll see you in my next video.